Hi, I'm Oink, and today uh, I'm going to show you uh, a very simple procedure, uh, something I hope uh, that is not necessary, but I'm going to show you how to um, uninstall Vera's desktop. Okay, we have it fully uh, installed and running. Um, it is a very simple procedure. Basically what you do is you go to settings in Windows, uh, you go to apps, uh, first you let it populate the list, now it should be ready. I type in virus, okay, it's already there. Click it, uninstall, and click uninstall again. So if you ever want to get rid of the virus desktop, this is the way. It asks you to confirm your choice, and we will get the installer, the uninstaller in this case. Click next, and we'll just wait for it to finish, uh, and there it is, completing virus desktop uninstall, finish, and you're all gone. The icon has been removed. Okay, now it removed the program, yet it did not remove all the data. Um, if you want to reinstall at a later point, all your data will be available right now. However, what if you really want to uh, remove everything you ever had? You simply go to your explorer, uh, enter uh, the address thingy, and you type there, percentage, app data, percentage. That will bring you to the place uh, which is uh, in your own profile, app data roaming. And you'll see a couple of things in there that are related to Virus. One is the Komodo folder. The Komodo folder, if you have a native wallet, uh, holds your wallet and all the chain data. Um, if you, for example, are moving the PC on to someone else or anything, uh, you may want to remove that. Uh, I make a habit of not removing anything on my test machine, so I'm going to name it old. Virus Desktop. It holds all your settings for uh, the Virus Desktop program, including if you used light mode, it will also uh, include the seeds if you happened to encrypt them with a password so they are stored there they are in an encrypted form if you don't know your password they can't use it however for safety it is uh, prudent to remove that one uh, zcash parameters which is basically used by all uh, zcash clones uh, zcash forks like uh, komodo pirate virus uh, zcash itself of course if you intend not to use any uh, native chains on this machine anymore, you can remove that one as well. So I'm going to hold it as well, so I know uh, in time that I can remove these folders and I don't need them again. That's basically what you need about how to install uh, Virus Desktop completely. Um, if you want to use Virus later on or any wallet, I recommend to use to, to keep at least the Zcash Params folder because that's a one and a half gig download. Thanks for watching.